is up ladies and gentlemen it's your boy Delano de Blasio aka Blase. I hope you guys are having a fantastic day today I got quite a cool video for you guys I'm going to be teaching you guys um obviously aiming tricks and all of that good good I'm going to show you my settings I use currently um for my controller and all the rest of it because in this game if you don't aim first and you don't see a guy around the corner first you're pretty much dead uh, but yeah, let's get right into it guys. It's gonna be a short and sweet video, but yeah, let's get into it So I'll go to my option settings. I use Tactical which pretty much flips the melee and the crouch button. So I use circle to melee and uh, R3 to crouch pretty much My stick layout uh, is default Invert is disabled of course. I use six sensitivity and um, well, Six horizontal and six vertical. Sorry. So yeah, it's pretty much what I feel comfortable with it all is a uh, like depends what you guys feel comfortable with at the end of the day um, and then for the ADS sensitivity multiplier this is new to Call of Duty um, so for my low zoom I use 1.06 I know a lot of guys like to bring it lower because it's pretty much a bit um, a bit more accurate when you aim in so your gun moves a bit slower so you can get uh, that pinpoint accuracy which I would recommend guys if you're not comfortable with a higher sensitivity then rather go to 0.9 I would recommend 0.9 100% for both of these um, yeah I'll pretty much leave it on 0.9 because as soon as you zoom in looking up down left right it's gonna be a bit slower than than normal um, so that's just a simple fact that you can get those um, those shots off but I use one 1.06 and 1.08 if you guys are interested in that for my aim response curve type is dynamic I know people use standard so as you can see in the top right so standard is a simple power curve map from aim stick to aim rate so that's like normal Call of Duty it's pretty much what it is so as you guys can see linear is aim stick maps directly to aim rate um, which is quite difficult you give it a bash guys, but it's actually very very hard like I don't actually enjoy it What I use is dynamic so reverse s curve mapping for fine aim rate control Which is pretty much the most accurate one in my opinion um, Give it a give it a bash guys. It really 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 works um, Controller vibrations usually I, I use a scuff so it is disabled. I don't have the, the actual uh, vibration inside so it is disabled but it's enabled whatever my aim assist is standard um, I haven't tested out the others as of yet but standard seems to be working perfectly for me so if you guys check standard is traditional aim slow down near target so as soon as you're aiming and it kind of aims over target it slows it down which is quite sick because uh, it's strong aim slow down um, that only kicks in when aiming closer to target best for accurate players so precision is um, if you're quite accurate um, already use this because it is phenomenal and focusing is um, strong aim slow down that also kicks in when narrowly missing targets so best for players new to analog, analog aiming so this is this is um, the focus is great for for new players to Call of Duty that are just starting with a controller if they're coming from PC or any other kind of console if they're starting with a PS4 controller or Xbox One controller, I'll go for focusing 100%. But for me, standard the best. I really just use standard because it is what it is. ADS melee, I just use ADS and melee. I don't use any of the other stuff. Weapon mount, movement, exit enabled. Aim down sight behavior. So I hold obviously my trigger to... Oh, sorry. Shit. Um, so I obviously hold down my trigger. Uh, to aim down sights, it's not toggled, so my equipment behavior is also on hold. So, you guys can see on the top right, I just use hold, tap to reload, um, tap to use, or contextual tap. I just use tap to reload. Uh, depleted ammo weapon switch is enabled, so as soon as my weapon's done with the ammo, it switches straight to, um, straight to my secondary, which is awesome. So, this is movement, slide behavior, hold, or tap. So pretty much, I actually haven't tried tap, I might actually give that a bash because 
um, as soon as I'm running, I don't have to hold it in. I can usually just tap it. So that should be fantastic. Um, maybe let me just give that a bash. And then vehicle camera, uh, camera recenter is enabled. So yeah, again, these are my settings that I use on the day to day. Um, let's go to my general. So obviously 50%, I should actually bump that up to 53. Uh, brightness, film grain is important guys. You want to keep this on zero because if you keep it on like 50 or max or whatever it is, um, it really, sometimes you see things in a distance that you're not supposed to see and then you're like, shoot at it by mistake. Uh, tool tips enabled. Um, that doesn't really bother me. Uh, subtitles disabled, English, colorblind disabled, interface. Um, motion blur, world motion blur and weapon motion blur must be disabled, guys. Keep that disabled. Um, because, I mean, as a, uh, the description says on the right, as soon as you sway, it pretty much like blurs your whole screen. Which you don't really want, because if you're swaying and there's a guy in front of you, you can't really make up that it's a guy. So... I would literally keep that off and same with the, with the weapon um, motion blur keep that off text chat all of that stuff enabled credits my audio I still haven't set this up properly because okay my dialogue I just keep pretty much off because I mean halfway because it's the guy in the in the game is always shouting like an absolute fucking maniac which irritates me sometimes Juggernaut music's on this is quite cool, so you can have classic hit marker sounds or the new Modern Warfare, which I keep it on. Um, mic threshold, unmute. All. So yeah, guys, that's pretty much it for today. I mean, I just wanted to give you a brief rundown of my um, settings because I know the settings are a bit different in this Call of Duty. But yeah, try mine out. Give it a bash. Let me know in the comments down below how you guys enjoy it. Um, if you guys like the precision or focusing better, let me know. Uh, for the aim assist and if you like linear or standard or dynamic let me know down below and yeah guys for these keep it on 0.9 for now if you're not comfortable um 0.9 is a good starting starting point but i use mine on 1.06 and 1.08 just because i'm a bit more experienced and i like to play quite quickly and move my analog quite quick um but yeah guys also invest in some control freaks that have changed my life um I actually bought my control freaks i bought the galaxy ones go look them up online i'll leave a uh, link to them in the description go check them out because they are honestly phenomenal they actually work so good but uh yeah guys if you have enjoyed please smash that like button uh subscribe hit that bell notification and thank you guys for all the love and support you have been giving me i really 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 do appreciate it this has been blase peace Thank <laughs> you.